Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today in front of us we've got the Palazzo Magdalena, which comes to us from Tabletop Scenics, and it's this cool three-story building that they made for their Streets of Venice line, which is basically to go with their Carnivale game. So as you can see, Carnivale is all about a lot of vertical movement and action, so it's kind of cool you have nice sloped stable roofs, so that way you can have models up on top of their balconies, you know, plazas, you've got the staircase going down. So you've got a lot of space to play around with. And you also have a lot of space that is taken up by all of the MDF boards in this set. So how much are we looking at in terms of parts? So i got to say, this is some of the crispest looking light punch board stuff that they do. These little emblems look like they go on the archways to the terrace or plaza or whatever that part is and with all mdf boards you got to make sure you got to clean this stuff give it a good wipe with some paper towels and clean it off because otherwise you're going to have the leftover scorch marks from the laser just going to be all over you can see like the dirt there so it's a good sized building carnival is a 32 millimeter game and the buildings are designed as such and i just really love like that lattice work on those parts that's really cool and the pieces are just like ready to pop off for you so it looks like we have seven total sheets of mdf board and it's pretty thick board too this looks like probably the ground floor you can see the tiles there Oh, I'm sure that staircase is going to be a fun one to build. Wow, the pieces are just really popping off on this one. This is one of their newer kits, so Tabletop Combat, the makers of this, have been doing MDF terrain for a while, ever since they picked up the rights to Carnival. I mean, they've been building more and more complicated and elaborate looking terrain, and this has got to be one of the funkiest and most fabulous that they've done so far. Nice set of doors there. Very cool. They always have like a little cracks in the brickwork so i mean honestly if you don't bother to paint this stuff even i am sure it's going to look really nice i always worry that if i do finally give it a spray at least to something that i'm going to really take away all that texture detail if you guys ever built any of this stuff let me know how it turns out because i'm really curious i've got quite a lot of mdf terrain and i've never really taken the plunge on painting it and i'm sure it would look quite cool. So we're gonna get this started and I'm thinking I'm probably gonna build it in chunks and I'll show you guys all the little bits and pieces and then we'll put all of the embellishments on in the end to give you a final look. It'll look like that. But obviously covered in models, right? Right, okay, let's get to work. Now we've got the three main sections of our palazza all finished here so i thought i'd give you guys a look see and show you what you're dealing with so here we have the bottom floor you've got the staircase attached and i gotta say of all of the tabletop combat buildings i've built so far i gotta say this was probably the smoothest construction and it had a couple of interesting parts i'll point out so staircase went really nice really tight really snug plop 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 stick all the stairs in and much like many of their other kits, you do have the option if you really want, you can pop all the windows out, pop and prop the doors open. I just went ahead and keep them glued shut because I like that. And they do have the floors on the interior and there is plenty of space. So if you wanted to, you know, stick a bunch of models in there, put scenery in there, put, you know, furniture and whatnot, you have plenty of room, especially if you're going to do like, you know, skirmish games and battles in there and say, oh, ah, go flying off there. So yeah. Plenty of headroom as well if you're worried about larger models. And the cool thing is once you, you know, if you need to, move up to the next floor. And this is kind of cool. So it just all snaps on. And what's kind of neat is these pieces, the kind of decorative bits, as nice as they look, sometimes they can be kind of a pain to actually get into the interior. If you have models that are, you know, hugging the terrain and stuff, you can actually just remove it. And hopefully have their weapons out of the way, which I didn't. And then it just like slides back in. So I'll take that off for the moment. Get our lizardman friend out of there. This is the first I've seen any kind of raised porch area, which I thought was kind of nice. And I'm not done, by the way. So let's keep that in mind. Another cool feature is if you're going to have guys on the interior, 
you can remove the back just as simply and there is the detail still on the floor is always a nice touch if you wanted to model the doors and windows open you totally could you can glue them into place that way and have models hanging out in there catching or returning fire putting our archway back in and then we have the final level we'll stick it in the front here and it has this really cool little garden railing. I really like the lattice work there. So I was saying they have some cool construction. I've never seen them do anything like this that I can remember where you have them kind of go in and then back out again. It's kind of weird getting the pieces to fit cooperatively, but they did work out in the end. And much like all the other parts, if you want to model those doors and windows open, you are more than welcome to. Just pop them off completely if that's what you're looking to do. And they do always have a nice little trap door. So if models need to descend down a floor, they totally can. And you know, one side always wants to go in first. There we go. Finally, then we have a nice little roof. And that just kind of clips on. And as you can see, we have quite the building here. I mean, it's, it's tall. You can barely see the models on some of them. And you get a whole table full of this stuff. I mean, I think you're going to have quite the impressive looking place and I mean you can even have like 15 millimeter guys on there and that's another thing I forgot to mention is the stairs can actually support models trying to climb up them what a shock they're not just for display anything I think on a small base smaller than a 30 millimeter is going to have no issues whatsoever trying to climb up there so something to keep in mind you want to have your smaller models and since Carnivale has actually got most of its models on 30 millimeter bases that should not be much of an issue and honestly I think with these buildings like this palazzo here and some of the other ones i've shown off while they are specifically designed for carnivale i feel like you could really get away with this in just about any kind of fantasy setting they really are nice looking buildings have it be some kind of guild or mages study i don't know whatever you're going to call it but we're still not done we still need and i just dropped a piece i see but we have these cool little fancy decorative bits that go all over that so all these little crests like i said earlier they're going to go all along the front here on these shields so that's going to look really nice we're going to polish this up finish it off and call it a day and we'll show you what that looks like in just a moment as i try to get this thing a little bit more in focus but i got too much clutter all over the sides there so let me clean up first and our palaza is all finished and complete. You can see here that we put all of the little decorative bits all along the edges. And I think it really makes the thing pop a bit more. It was a little confusing as to which pieces go where because the instructions didn't actually match up with the artwork or the photo, I should say, on the front of the package. And that didn't match up with what was included, actually. So we just kind of winged it, and I think everything worked out okay. There's nothing on the back, so that's why I haven't really showed it off. So all in all, like I said earlier, uh, really cool-looking buildings. There's a lot of space for a lot of models to actually fit there. You've got enough space to actually use those stairways for gaming purposes you can stick guys up on the roof there there's a lot you can do with it and there's a lot of space on the interiors as well so whether you're looking for expanding your carnivale board or you're looking for just interesting buildings to put on the tabletop for whatever setting it may be i don't think you can really go wrong with any of the tabletop combat buildings but especially this one i really like the whole design of it so with that said i'm going to include a link down below for both tabletop combat's entire site and for this specific model and hopefully you have found this interesting and helpful because that's why we're doing this with that said this is high lord tamberlane with obscurities and miniatures and thanks for watching we'll see y'all later Bye bye